Hey guys, today I'm going to do something uh, a little different. I'm going to do a comic book graphic novel update all by its lonesome. I've got quite a few graphic novels and I just think it would be really hard to fit them in with um, a DVD update. And I always feel like I'm squashing them in, not really giving them their fair dues. So first off we start with two single issues. Don't really buy these anymore, I prefer buying trade paperbacks, mainly because it's cheaper but there's uh, The Amazing Spider-Man issue 655. I bought this because I just really liked the cover a lot. I thought that was really cool. I don't really know what's going on with Spider-Man at the moment in the Amazing Spider-Man continuity. Someone's died. Um, apparently it's actually a very good issue. I haven't read it. Um, yeah, I just bought it because I like the cover sitting on there. Then we have uh, New Ultimates. Issue 2. I wanted to get issue 1 but they didn't have it so I just got issue 2. I did read it. Wasn't the biggest fan of it. I mean, generally I, I didn't know what was going on but I could get the kind of general gist. Um, I like that cover, it's cool. Especially the image of Captain America but... Uh, I don't know, I just think Ultimates... It was once really cool but... Or at least from what I read but now... Not so much. Um, I don't know, it's just felt kind of uh, soulless. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just this one issue, but Ultimates is confusing now because there's so many different things. But speaking of Ultimates, I got um, the Ultimates Volume 1, Superhuman. Uh, this is um, this is where the Ultimates all started out, like kind of the reboot of the Avengers as it were, redoing them, um, with Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, Wasp, the Wasp and uh, Ant-Man. Um, I did actually many moons ago get this which is uh, the Ultimates issues 1 to 3 and like the one kind of big issue um, as you can see here. So and this is 1 to 6 but this was like a fiver on Amazon so I thought you know fiver to get the uh, to check out the other three issues why not. Maybe I'll sell this or I might just keep it for sentimental reasons but um yeah, it's the Ultimates issues 1 to 3, and this is one to, issues 1 to 6, essentially. Um, uh, but I love I love what I've read of the Ultimates. The, um, um, the artwork's just gorgeous, I think. Um, it's really, really nice. And I really like the beginning of it as well. I think that one looks so cool in the movie, where it's like, um, it's set up really well as well. I love it. It's like, um... They have, it's like World War Two, and they're setting up Captain America. And you don't kind of see how he becomes Captain America, but he's already Captain America in World War Two, And he's a total kind of badass. And he stops this like super, this missile from going off. Um, and then he gets frozen. Um, but it's set up really cool because like the first couple of pages, you just kind of see the speech bubbles of uh, Captain America. And you don't see them until this uh, page. Where the fuck is it? That page where right? he's just like, yeah. What are you waiting for, ladies? Christmas? That's just... Isn't that just the fucking coolest thing? Um, so that's Ultimates Volume 1. And then I got... Which I purchased before this, which is, which is um, Ultimates 2 Volume 1, God of Monsters. Now, this may have not actually been worth my money because I got a couple of issues of Ultimates 2. I got issue 2, issue 5, 4 and issue 5, all, and issue 7 way back in the day. And this had issues 1 to 6 of Ultimates 2. But I didn't, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to hunt down Ultimates, these missing issues of Ultimates 2. So I just got this volume 1 and, um, but yeah, I got these back in the day. I really like, and that's issue 7, which is from volume 2. It's just a quick sneak peek, love the artwork. Um, there's Ultimates 3 and stuff like that, which I'm not, I've heard Ultimates 3 is crap. I'm not going to give that a look. Um, and I've heard, and yeah, the, the ultimatum after that wasn't that great, but I recommend checking out Ultimates, and I hope Ultimates, I've heard Ultimates 2 is good, so I'm hopeful that I just need to get volume 2 of these these uh, two titles. Um, because, there you are, there were two volumes of this, two volumes of this, Ultimates, um, and Ultimates 2. And this one, I may get some laughs for, but... Um, I really wanted to check it out. It's Pride and Prejudice, yes, this is comic book, graphic novel, whatever. Um, this is done by Marvel, actually. 
Uh, and I actually do like period dramas. Not something I'm gonna. I mean, I'm, you know, I've I've watched the Pride and Prejudice movie, Kira Knightley one, and the the TV series. Yes, I've watched them and I liked them. Um, and I was curious to check out the comic book, and the artwork is really nice. It's really the vi the colours are really vibrant. Looks really good. I think the artwork just looks kind of gorgeous. Um, so it's worth it for that alone. I've got this in Walkstones. It's kind of an impulse buy. I think they've done Sense and Sensibility as well. I haven't read it yet, but I know the story, obviously. I've never read the actual uh, book itself. It'll be interesting uh, to read this just to see how it translates. I do like these uh, things on the front. How to Cure Boy Crazy Sisters. Who is Mr. Darcy? Bingley's Bring Bling to Britain. I think that's what it says, yeah. Secrets about summer dresses, all that kind of, sort of like a gossip magazine, I guess. And then I got Buffy Season 8, Volume 7, yeah, Volume 7, Twilight. Um, uh, volume 8 will be the last of Buffy Season 8, and then that's it. It's finished in the single issue run, but uh, the kind of collection of the last five or six issues, Volume 8, is out in July, I think, so I'll pick that up. But this is Volume 7. thought it was a lot better than Volumes 5 and 6, but still just... Buffy season 8 for me just doesn't quite come together as a whole. I really felt like they needed, the arc needed to be stronger throughout the entire series like they do in the uh, in the TV show and it felt like they just dragged it on too long. It was 40 issues, it's just too many issues. It's good to, I mean they're doing season 9 but that's going to be 25 issues thankfully. Um, yeah, still not a fan of the artwork. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, it got actually that's kind of funny. Um, as I guess that's supposed to be Joss Whedon. Um, but the yeah, it got really confusing, really weird in this volume, really bizarre shit. And this whole thing happened, and Giles is explaining it. And it's just like, what? It just makes no sense. That's kind of cool though. <laughs> that's, that's Andrew, yeah, that's Buffy volume seven. Probably regretting calling their villain for season eight Twilight. What was all the Twilight hoopla? And then I got uh, Powers Volume One, Who Killed Retro Girl, and Powers Volume Two, uh, Role Play. Um, this is uh, I was going to say a series. Well, yeah, I guess this is a graphic novel series, a comic book series about um, police. But they investigate like superhero related crimes and deaths and stuff. You can see there is the death of Retro Girl. Um, uh, so I've only read the first, I guess, two kind of issues. Um, I'm liking it, but it's not kind of, uh, in, I'm not engorging it. It's not, it sucked me in like some other things did, like The Walking Dead and Preacher and stuff. Um, and so I haven't obviously read any of Volume 2. Role play. I like that image a lot though, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I need to kind of get into it a bit more, but I like um, I like what I've read of it so far, but it's not uh, blowing me away. It's done by Image, who have done this next one that I'm going to show. Uh, Invincible, Volume 3, and Volume 4. It's uh, Perfect Strangers and Head of the Class. Invincible, I'm absolutely in love with this now. These it's just got so good. In the third volume, it just got really, really good. There was some revelations about what was going on. It was awesome. Um, and just, I just continued into volume four. There's a lot going on in volume four, and some of it seems like they're setting up a lot of kind of plot threads. And I think there's lots of stuff that's going to go down. I can't wait to get volume five. What I like about Invincible is it just kind of accepts its very kind of comic bookiness, and it has these these fights, like these superhero fights, but they last about two pages. Like, you know, it just kind of, it's hard to explain, but it just kind of accepts what it is and it, it kind of embraces that and, um, and it, like it really concentrates on characters and stuff and it's really good. I love the, um, the artwork. I think overall though, if you just look, I mean, it gets really violent in, um, I was gonna say season four, <laughs> in volume three, um, it gets really violent. I think just because it 
felt a little more consistent. I preferred volume 3 over volume 4, but I love the cover for volume 4. But there's a lot of good stuff going on in this one. When you set up some really cool villains as well. And, um, and it kind of, there's some relationship stuff in it that I don't think is quite fully developed between uh, Invincible and uh, this other superhero chick, uh, Atom Eve. I guess, nah, she is. Can't really see her very well, but um, yeah, it reminds me kind of of the good old Ultimate Spider-Man days when I was essentially shipping Mary Jane and uh, Peter. So, Invincible, really recommend Invincible a lot, really love it. And just at the very end, here's some um, ones I bought today. Two single issues and another graphic novel. We got uh, Spike, issue six. Just bought this randomly. Um, issue six, I'll probably have no idea what's going on. I never read any of After the Fall, aka season six comic book. Or um, I think they did Spike After the Fall as well, which is like a spin off, but this is just Spike. I don't know if it takes place during After the Fall or during Buffy. Season me or something or whatever. Anyways, that's a spike issue. Um, not a big fan of the artwork. I think it's the same artist who did uh, After the Fall. That was one of the things that turned me off from After the Fall was the artwork. I just really didn't like it at all. I mean, much, much worse than the average Buffy Season 8 artwork. And I bought this as well. Uh, Marvel Zombies Supreme, issue 2 of 5. Again, probably won't know what's going on, but I just thought that looks cool. You know, superheroes or zombies, what's not to like? I do have an issue also, also of uh, Marvel Zombies vs um, Army of Darkness, which is kind of cool. I'd like to get that in trade paperback. But, yeah, that's um, Marvel. Obviously not for the not for the little ones. And this one I bought, this graphic novel, lastly, is uh, Batman Under the Red Hood. I guess this is, yeah, volume one. No, there was a volume two as well they had which I might buy if I like this. Um, I kind of wanted to read this before I saw the animated movie they did last year, I think. Um, so, I, I it was, well, it said it was eight ninety nine, and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll buy it, pick that up. But then when I got it to check out, she was like six ninety nine. I was like, sweet, cool. I've heard good stuff about it. It's supposed to be very good. Um, I think I know who the Red Hood is, though. Who is the, um... So, yeah, but never mind, I'm sure it'll be a good read, and, um, yeah, this was in, I got this in WH Smith, of all places, and for those who are in America, and I guess, you don't, yeah, you don't have that, do you? Which is like a kind of quasi-bookstore place, sort of, yeah, mainly books, they have other stuff too, though, it's, I don't know, it's not very, it's not specific, but I'm sure that'd be good, I haven't read it yet, but that's Batman Under the Red Hood, yeah, so that's all the comic books, graphic novels. I just thought I'd do this, like I said, by itself because there was so much. There was no way I was going to fit in with DVDs, so I just thought, solo video, we'll see how it goes down. And if I, you know, I might do another one of these if people like it. Um, so that's, um, that's been that. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you, I guess, for DVD update. Um, peace.